Even though NASA's human spaceflight program has been cut back, its unmanned programs are forging ahead. This month, NASA is launching the Juno spacecraft aboard an Atlas V rocket headed to the solar system's largest planet, Jupiter. For the most part, Jupiter remains a mystery. When I first started working on Juno, it, it blew me away that we knew so little about the biggest planet in the solar system. For example, we don't know what the core is made out of. Why is the magnetic field so large and so powerful? And how far down do the clouds go on Jupiter? When we fly by close on Juno and we start getting that science data back, we'll be able to answer those questions. To get to Jupiter, the Juno spacecraft will be fueled by solar power, and while on its orbit around the Sun, will get a push from Earth. On the Juno mission, we uh, initially launch from the Earth. We fly out um, past the asteroid belts. We do a, a burn at that point to bring ourselves back in towards the Earth, and we use uh, what we call a gravity assist, or, or kind of a slingshot uh, of the Earth's gravity well to then uh, propel us out towards Jupiter. It will take five years for Juno to reach the big planet, but once there, the spacecraft will orbit its poles 33 times. Its instruments will measure the amount of water and ammonia in the atmosphere, as well as map the atmosphere, auroras, and interior. Maybe by the end of 2016, scientists will have a better understanding of Jupiter's now unknown core and the planet's origin.